And Friday's shooting leading up to a violent weekend across San Antonio and the death of another teen who just graduated from the George Gervin Academy. We're talking about 18 year old Jeremiah Hardiman. He died in a shooting on Saturday in the 1500 block of Upland Road. Police said he was not the intended target. It was the latest incident of gun violence among teenagers. RJ Barquez spoke with people at the Gervin Academy about Hardiman with the Boys and Girls Club also about efforts to keep young teens safe this summer. Our community is saddened by the loss of Jeremiah, and we understand that the system in place that allowed this to happen is still happening today. Nathan Hawkins, the superintendent at the George Gervin Academy, said they were heartbroken to hear about the death of Jeremiah Hardiman, who just graduated on May 27th. It is so difficult because when you prepare them to, for the workforce and you prepare them for life and something like this happens, very devastating. The Gervin Academy preaches to their students about gun violence and staying engaged in the community, which can be harder when they're out of school. It's about getting these students engaged, active, making sure they feel a sense of belonging to the community, to our school, and making sure they're uh, active, making sure that we provide opportunities. It's important that we provide that guidance, that nurturing, and that direction. At the Boys and Girls Club of San Antonio, there was a similar push to help keep young teens off the streets during the summer. Just a critical time for kids to be, you know, unsupervised, to be left at home, um, to kind of do what they want to do with their day, and so families really rely on affordable programming. Ada Signs says many of these younger adults are trying to find their way and the Boys and Girls Club is there to help. If there's not a positive mentor or a positive adult in their life, um, then they're going to find it in somebody who's not that positive for them. We had high hopes for Jeremiah. He was set up for an interview this Thursday to go to Goodwill to do a CDL. He wanted to graduate with a traditional high school diploma to make his mom proud. And we are standing outside the Mays Family Clubhouse right now for the Boys and Girls Club of San Antonio, where they tell us that they have several programs geared for young adults and teens, including resiliency programs, sports, and of course, mental health. But they also say that this group is the toughest to attract and keep here at the Boys and Girls Club. So they try and make it not seem too much like a regular school day. Now, speaking of that, we talked to obviously the Gervin Academy. They are dealing with tragedy right now, but they tell us that they are helping out their students and staff, and they also want to let people know that right now they have over 200 kids there for summer school programs as well to hopefully keep these kids in a safe environment. Reporting south of downtown, RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.